Hello everyone, this is Sue Ann Hickey, creator of Body Typology, System for Lasting Weight Loss. Nutrition, healthy eating, healthy lifestyle has been a passion of mine for over 28 years. Today I want to talk about one of the main points of what I do in my weight loss group and that's all about emotional eating and emotional release. The most uh, important thing that you can do is, number one, become aware. So what is going on when you feel hungry? See if you can check out um, what's going on, what feelings are there. Find out if you're really hungry or if you're having a craving or what emotions are there. So many of my clients tell me that you know they start eating late at night they might even go into mindless eating they find themselves in the pantry eating things without even knowing that they're there or what's going on so it's essential to use mindfulness before you reach for that food before you reach for that snack the cookie whatever check in with yourself how are you feeling what is there are you feeling lonely are you feeling sad are you feeling frustrated anger? Are you really hungry? Nine times out of ten the answer might be no, I'm not really hungry. So what's going on? You can start to keep a little journal. So for a week or two each time you find yourself you know, wanting something salty, something sweet, um, some unhealthy snack. What is going on? Just jot it down. What feeling is there? And then after a while you will notice a pattern. You will notice what is there. Emotional eating happens to all of us, myself included. And for years and years, I wasn't using food as a coping mechanism, but I was using alcohol. Uh, not to, to stuff down the feelings that were there. I've been through a whole lot of stuff. I've done a whole lot of emotional healing and emotional release, which brings me to my second point. I think in our life path, we're here to look at all of our life experiences. Earth is a very hard place to live on. There's constantly challenges. There's constantly pain. There's things to overcome. Why? So we can learn those lessons and move on. Until we learn them, the same challenges will keep on coming up over and over and over. Believe me, I know. I've done a lot, a lot of work since probably my first yoga class in 1990. Up until that point, I was not willing to look at what was there. I was probably pretty unconscious about the pain that I was stuffing down, uh, using, as I said, alcohol, partying, just being completely unconscious of what was there. And when I finally started to go deep, dig deep. I did therapy, done a ton of workshops, self-help books, traveled around the world for a year and a half on a spiritual journey, searching for answers, searching for ways of releasing my emotional turmoil and coming out ahead, coming out on top to, so that I no longer needed those coping mechanisms and that I could find better ways to cope with my problems, my challenges and things that came up. Yoga was a huge catalyst for me. So how can you look at what is there? Journaling is a great idea or seeking counseling with someone who can help you look at what is there, release it. Usually we're stuck in our same old habits, right? So whether it's emotional eating, or using something else, those habits uh, may be ingrained, but they can be changed. Giving yourself a lot of self-compassion, self-care, self-love, cheering yourself on rather than beating yourself up, so important. So in the end, I think, as I said, we all have our struggles. <laughs> no one is exempt from life struggles. And we have a choice. You can use a maladaptive coping mechanism, whether it's food, alcohol, drugs, uh, overwork, shopping, all these things to get the, the, to try and run away from the pain. Or we can look at what is there, 
work on releasing this emotional upset and move on, move on to better, brighter, wonderful things along our path to enlightenment in this lifetime or however you want to look at it, a happier, more joy-filled life, which I think is what we're all striving for. So yes, yeah, so take some to take some time to look at what is there, start journaling what is happening with your emotional eating, start looking at ways uh, how you can release it. A wonderful book is called Shrink Yourself by Dr. Uh, Gould. It's a great book to help you look at your emotional eating. And if you're interested in going a little bit more, by all means, direct message me so I can help you out by doing my own work. I have a ton of tools in my toolbox to help you. So thanks for watching and have a great day.